Hey there, it's Dr. Kimisa. Welcome back to our video series. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, give us a thumbs up, or that would be two thumbs up. But today's topic is really going to be about you. And this is a conversation I have many, many times. The topic of conversation is how fast do our bodies heal? How long does it take to recover from an injury? So stay tuned. I got lots to share about this. Let's get into it. So when I have a new patient come in and they tell me that their, their condition, whether it's low back or neck, whatever the situation is, it's only been a short duration, uh, I, the question mark already goes up on the board. And so now I have to find out how long it's been going on for, get them to start digging back in the memory bank of truly how long it's been acting up for. And so the first thing is, you know, when was the last time it happened? Regardless of what you just told me, it might be a couple weeks, but when was the last time it happened? When was the very first time it happens? That gives us our length of time that this has been going on for. And it's crazy how many times we find out, oh yeah, it's a 20 year history. It's a 30 year history. It's a 10 year history. And how often has it been happening? And what's the severity of it? Does it shut you down for a couple of days? Do you look sideways when you look at yourself in the mirror? Are you in that, have that antalgic posture, right? And these are the kind of questions that we forget about when you're in the immediate situation, in the immediate uh, pain condition that you come into the office with. We forget about the history of it and we just look at the acuteness of it. It's just today. It just happened a couple weeks ago. It just happened last week, whatever the situation is. But we know as we start digging deeper that it has been a chronic situation. When I take x-rays and I show you and we look at the, the degenerative change and I give you a guesstimate of how long I think the injury's been going on for, you know, by the shape of the vertebrae and what's happened to the structure, then and only then do you kind of fess up and say, you know, Doc, I, I was just thinking about it. I was in a bad car crash when I was, I don't know, 15 years old or fell off a swing. I mean, we've heard all of them. Uh, maybe not all of them, but we've heard quite a few different uh, examples of how people get injured. So, but really today's topic is just to get you to think about, okay, how chronic is it, first of all? What's the pain levels like? How frequent is it? And, you know, when did it first start? That gives us this this gap of time here that we've got to try and make up for because the expectation that you have thinking that in your mind it's only a week a month six months when in essence and true it's been this huge gap and you you're it's incongruent with what you actually have going on with your body and what you have going on with your mind. You think, oh, should be fine. Well, let's just think about this for a second. Think about when we were young and you didn't have any sleep and you could party and you could go up all night and do all kinds of things. Well, how's that working for you at this age? Whatever age you are, how's that changed in your life, right? Do your, does your body actually heal from just a cut? You know, what's, how long does it take your body to heal from something simple like that? Are you doing any type of medication that may be slowing you down? You know, hindering the healing process. And probably one of the most, the toughest things to, to do, I like to call my, like when, when a patient comes in, I like to say that, you know, I'm like the mirror. I'm trying to get them to look at themselves differently so that we can truly find out the find out what's the appropriate therapy for their condition 
And one of the things is, well, I used to do all this. I used to go to the gym. I go to the gym every day because, and I do all this workout. And it worked for you maybe 10 years ago. But now, that same workout, because your body has changed over time, that same workout is now causing more aggravating factors. Your body is not in the same condition it was when you were doing these things. I just had this conversation the other day with a guy. Oh, I've been doing sit-ups at the gym, thinking he's keeping his core strong, but he keeps flaring up his back. So, the, the questions that we have, I mean, we have lots of therapy here from obviously all the stuff you see behind us, all the power plates and the adjustments and everything else. But if we can't even get to that, well, then that's where our regenerative medicine comes in, whether it's from shockwave with the EMTT, with the focus unit, with the radio product, uh, whether it's with injections, with prolotherapy, PRP therapy, or bone marrow aspiration stem cell therapy. I mean, these are all the tools we have to try and get people to the next level. And so this conversation I'm having is, I've had this so many times with people and they forget about it. And because, like I said earlier, when they come in in the acute stage, all they're thinking of is, oh, it's just right now. They forgot about what's happened in the past. But the past is critical so that we give you and provide for you the adequate therapy. And so that's why we do so many things here is because no two people are the same. Your condition isn't the same as it was 10 years ago. So hope this makes some sense. This is a conversation I have a lot and I, and I want people to, to really kind of dig deep and, and think about really how long it's been going on and what's the expectation. It is not going to heal in a couple weeks. Sorry to tell you that. Sorry to, to rain on your parade there. But your body's not the same. You're not a 10-year-old kid that just scraped his knee and now it's going to heal in a couple weeks. Uh, that's not what's happening. So hope this makes some sense. And as we continue to empower people to live their best day every day, we just want to keep really digging deep and helping people have the right mindset to start the healing process. So until next time, have yourself a very blessed day. Stay tuned for more information from Ultimate Medical Group. Have a blessed day.